What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic kick butt day today so far. So guys, Brawl Stars is global. I still can't believe it. It is so well deserved. This game is amazing. Now, if you're new to the game, welcome. Hopefully you're enjoying it so far. And with this influx of new players, I want to make sure that we're all off on the right foot, giving you guys the top five best and the top five worst brawlers in the game right now. Now, one of the absolute most important tips that I can give to any player in this game is making sure to know the brawlers that are dominant in the meta and the brawlers that are a little bit underwhelming. This way, we're focusing our attention on trophy pushing. We know what brawlers are going to give us the easiest trophies possible as well as what brawlers might be a little bit more tricky doing so. So today we're going to be doing just that, outlining the top five best brawlers that are going to give you the easiest trophies possible as well as the top five brawlers that you might want to be a little bit more careful with. So hope you guys are pumped up. Let's jump right into it. Alrighty guys, so like any other top five that I do here on the channel, I always like to incorporate some kind of gameplay so you guys can see how I like to play those certain brawlers in game as well as we can just go over general tips while we're playing live. So the way we're going to be doing it in today's video is jumping into gameplay with the top five best brawlers and then just announcing the top five worst brawlers. So the way we're going to be organizing this top five is starting off with the fifth worst and then flip-flopping in between the two. So then the fifth best, and then we'll keep that pattern up until we get to the number one best and worst brawlers in the game currently. So starting off with the fifth worst brawler in the game right now, and that is none other than Mortis. Guys, I feel like Mortis is incredibly good if he's in the right hands. However, since he's such a high skill cap brawler, I feel like he runs the risk of losing trophies very, very easily. Now the game modes he's really, really good on are game modes such as Brawl Ball, Showdown, and sometimes on Gem Grab, but the other two or three game modes he's not that crazy good on, especially on Heist. You don't want to play him on Heist whatsoever. We'll see if he gets a buff in the next balance change. I'm crossing my fingers for that. So next, switching our focus to the fifth best brawl in the game right now, and that is none other than Nita, guys. Now, I feel like Nita never fails to be somewhat closer, if not in the top five best brawlers in the game at all times, just because she's an incredibly good brawler, as well as she's viable on multiple different game modes. Now, the two game modes that you always want to be pushing her up on are Gem Grab and Brawl Ball, but she's also viable in Bounty and Showdown. And the only game mode that you want to avoid is Heist, just because she doesn't really have a spot in it. So what we're going to be doing is hopping into Showdown with Nita. We're sitting at 491 trophies, and we'll see how we can do. Here we go. Alrighty guys, hopping straight away into it. Now I want to make sure to kind of go over what is going through my head when I'm playing with Nita. Now in any showdown game with Nita, I try to go a little bit more passive. Trying to get some boxes when I can. Um, this is kind of the exception. We have three boxes here. And if we get three power cubes right away in the beginning, that'd be so, so good. And Nita's able to hit all three boxes at once. So that is perfect. That's what I like to see. Now we definitely want to avoid that Rico because he's very good on Cavern Churn. And things that you'll kind of understand about me after playing or after watching some of my videos is that I'm an, incre I'm an incredibly passive brawler. I don't like to um, push in if I don't have to. Like right there, we probably could have tried to get that box, but I knew that Rico is really good on this map, so we want to try to avoid him. So we're just going to kind of wait it out. Main goal is trying to get to that top five spot so that we can secure some sort of trophies. Okay, Rico's got it in for us. And I think there's a Shelly up here. Yep. We can pressure the Shelly. Rico wants us. Okay, let's just try to stay alive here. Maybe Rico will switch his focus on the Shelly. And if we can, maybe we can pinch the Shelly with the Rico if he's helping us. Okay, we have a little bit more damage output than the Shelly at the range that we're at. Okay, she's very close to dying. Because right now we have trophy secured, which is good. But it's only one trophy. Let's see if we can get a little bit more out of this. We should be able to get this Shelly. She's in a bad spot. And then we have our super, but so does so does Rico. Okay, there's a level 8 Shelly in the bushes down there. Why don't we go like this? Maybe Beto his super? Okay, let's go like this. He's going to use his super, I believe. Okay, never mind. Okay, knew it! I'm pretty sure there's a Shelly up here. Nope, not quite. Let's just do our best to tank this out. I'm sure there's a, an OP Shelly coming around us. Going to get us very soon. Rico's playing it very, very safe. Maybe we can get up there. Oh my goodness, this is the only safe spot on the map. Rico's trying to push in ever so slowly. Maybe someone will go for him before us, hopefully. Oh my goodness, guys, we're tanking it out. This is what you get for playing passive, just trying to stay alive. Okay, let's get this Rico. Revenge, no, dang it. <laughs> we were so close to getting him, but we took third place. There was no way we were taking out that Shelly. So guys, plus four trophies, not too shabby. Let's jump into the fourth worst brawler in the game right now. Here we go. So next, jumping into the fourth worst brawler in the game right now, and that is my man, Colt, you guys. Now, he did just receive a buff in the last balance change update, but I haven't received any substantial evidence to show me that he's any better than he was before that. Now, right now, Colt in the meta is a very situational brawler, which means he can still push up his trophies in the game modes that he's good in, such as Heist or Brawl Ball. But on the 
other game modes, you're going to want to rock other brawlers that are going to do a little bit better of a job than Colt. Next on the list is the fourth best brawl in the game, and that is Tara, guys. I feel like Tara, once again, much like Nita, is always up close to that top five at all times just because she's so, so good. Her super is dominant in the meta. That's always going to be kind of her ace in the hole. It's something that always comes back that is really good for her character. The game modes that she's incredibly good on are Gem Grab, Brawl Ball. She can play on Bounty. She can play in Showdown. She's very viable on multiple different game modes, which is why she's always so incredibly good in the meta. So guys, much like Nita, we're going to be taking her into Showdown and see how we can do on Cavern Churn. We're sitting at a little bit higher trophies than Nita, but it shouldn't be that much different of gameplay. Once you get to like the 500 trophy mark, um, the gameplay is kind of the same where there's a lot of teaming and stuff like that. Alrighty guys, so hopping into it with Tara, we'll see how we can do. Now there's one thing that we have to keep in mind is that we're above 500 trophies, so we have to take 4th place or better instead of 5th place in order to secure some trophies. So much like we played with Nita, we're going to try to play a little bit more passive, but we didn't spawn in the same spot, that OP spot where those three boxes are. Okay, there's two up there, and there's a lot of commotion up there, so I think we're just going to kind of play it safe, and maybe we can clean up a little bit. One thing that I always like to do as a passive player in Showdown is always observe what two other players are doing against each other. They're going to do a bunch of damage to each other, and then maybe you can swoop in and pick up the kills and get those par cubes from those guys. Now, one thing also that I've noticed about Cavern Churn is that the matches go somewhat quick because there's a lot of action in the middle. People always go to the mid and try to secure some kills. Okay, here we go. So we have nine brawlers remaining. Bow. Oh, there's a bunch of bows. The reason bow is being played is because it's star power. It's OP. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Just uh, making sure that no one's camping in the bushes. There's been so many times that Shelly or Bow or a bull is just chilling in the bushes waiting for me to come around the corner and kill me. So right now, our main objective is try to get a super. If we can get a super, that'd be great. Because that's very, very good in our arsenal for Tara. But I have a feeling this this match is going very, very slow. Um, very unlike Cavern Churn. So I'm kind of debating whether or not to go in the middle. It's going to be a showdown match in the mid. I'm, I'm assuming that Poison is going to push us in. So we have to kind of tank out this bull. Okay, bull's going in. Just kind of stick up here. Where's this bull? The bows are going to know where we are before we enter. We have half our super. Come on, guys. We got this. We need fourth place or better. I'm not sure. I don't think that bull died, so he's going to be a little bit scary as well. Okay, we're not taking any damage. Shelly's not going to be able to see us quite yet. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> We're just trying to stay out of the line of sight right now at this point. I'm not sure where that Shelly is. I don't want to be by her. Okay, we're just going to try and clean up this bull. Good. Maybe we can kill this bow. Or the bull. <laughs> bull and bow. And guys, we're at rank two. Look at that. <laughs> okay, maybe we can get first place. Here we go. Oh, come on. Yes, guys. First place by playing super passive. I'm telling you guys, try it out. Don't go super head into it. Don't try to pick up kills as fast as possible. Be smart when you're playing in showdown. But guys, not too shabby. Plus six trophies. Let's jump into the next brawler on our ranking. Here we go. Next round the corner to the third worst brawler in the game right now, and that is Crow. And it pains me to say that just because he's an incredibly fun brawler to play. I love his mechanics so, so much. But one thing that I feel like Crow really relies on is his super. And right now, his super regeneration rate isn't that incredibly high, even though he got a buff to it in the last balance change update. He only gets it about two to three times a game. Crow's stats are a little bit underwhelming right now. His health is very, very low on par with the other lowest health brawlers in the game currently. He can do some bursty damage, but he has to be in close to deal that damage, so he runs the risk of dying a lot because he has that low health so the game modes that you want to push him up on that he's always going to be good on are game modes like heist as well as sometimes in gem grab and he's also viable in showdown hopefully he gets a buff in the next balance change like i said before i really really enjoy playing with crow so guys we're around the corner to the top three best brawlers in the game right now and i feel like these brawlers are pretty solidified in the meta being the best brawlers right now to push so push these brawlers so guys jumping into the third best brawler in the game right now and that is none other than pam and it's weird to say that just because pam I feel like has never been as good as she is now. Um, she's always been a really good gem carry, but not very viable on multiple different game modes. But now that she's really good on multiple different game modes, she is a dominant brawler in the meta. You can play her on Brawl Ball. You can play her on Heist sometimes, which is very weird to say. She's incredibly good on Showdown. You can play her in Bounty, and she's always going to be good on Gem Grab. So guys, push Pam right now. All right, you guys, hopping straight away into it with Pam. Now we'll see how we can do. Now, one thing I absolutely love about Pam in Showdown is her high DPS, so you can rip through boxes so, so fast. I think it only takes two shots. Yeah, so good. Now, another thing we have to keep in mind about this map is it's not very suitable for Pam. 
Are these two guys sh teaming? Let's see. If they are, we have to get out of there. <laughs> uh, but like I was saying before, this isn't the absolute best map for Pam. Just because it's littered with Ricos, Lobbers, Tanks. And they can really dominate you in these tight quarters on the map. Oh my goodness! Jackpot! Let's go! Okay. <laughs> Maybe we can just kind of win by getting a bunch of power cubes. It's one thing about this map that's really, really awesome. Is there's boxes that spawn in three. Some, sometimes around the map. As you guys seen previously in the video. So we have six power cubes! Oh my goodness, that's so strong! But we can still get peppered by the Ricos and whatnot. So I think it might be in our best interest to go to the mid and just kind of feel out where people are. Because we have so much damage potential here. But I'm assuming there's going to be like a uh, like a tankier unit, like a shotgunner amongst us. Yep, there's one. So we know there's one in there. Should we grab this? Yeah, okay. Okay, where's that bull? We, we, can, we can out damage the bull, even if he's right on top of us. We can't really take on a Shelly if she's got a super like that. But I feel pretty comfortable in the middle right now. Okay, we're going to make sure that we keep people out of the middle. Okay, there's the bull. Let's push him over here so he takes on those Ricos. Okay, bull should be dead. If not, we'll kill him. Yep, there we go. Good deal. Let's get our healing station down here. We'll post up right here. I think this is good. The only brawler that's to the bottom right of us is that Shelly. And we can just kind of make sure that no one is coming in on us. Okay, let's see. Guys, we got so lucky with those power cubes in the beginning. I think that's what clinched it for us. Okay, where are the other players on the map? I think there's still that Shelly with the four. Yep, there we go. Okay, they're peppering in shots. Dang it! Would we take third place? Good enough. Getting those trophies, that's what I'm talking about. Plus four trophies. Let's jump into the next brawler on the list. Here we go. Alrighty guys, so jumping into the second worst brawler in the game right now, and that is none other than Piper. And it pains me to say that just because Piper is one of my favorite brawlers to play. And the only reason she's making it this far down the list is not that she's bad, but she's very, very game mode specific. The only game modes that she's really viable on are bounty and sometimes on jump grab. But on those game modes, she's incredibly, incredibly good. So with Piper, be very specific on the game modes that you're playing her on. And just to simplify things, I would say push her on every single map on bounty and avoid all other game modes. Alrighty guys, so jumping into the second best brawler in the game right now, and that is none other than my very, very pink friend, Spike, guys. Spike is so incredibly good, and he's been so incredibly good in the meta for a very long time. He just received a nerf in the last balance change, but he's still super, super good, and I don't think he's going to be out of the top five anytime soon. Um, The reason he's so good is he's viable on multiple different game modes. He can play on Bounty, he can play on Heist, he can play on Gem Grab, he can play on Showdown. He can literally play on every single game mode in the game and be amongst some of the best team comps in those games mode so guys push spike right now he's super super good okie dokie guys let's hop into it with spike on cavern churn and we're gonna be checking the, yep okay the bottom left hand corner or i should say all corners are really really op on this map they normally have at least two or three boxes to get and that's perfect for spike look how fast we can get these boxes okay good deal so we got two in the chamber right away let's see what we can do now one thing you really have to keep in mind about spike is that he has very very low health He's very dominant in all of his other stats. He has really long range. He has very high damage. He has a super that can heal you if you have a star power. He has slowing with a super, <laughs> so it's very, very good. But he can be taken out very, very quickly if someone is, like, camping in the bushes or something like that. So you have to be super, super careful. Okay, we have some Shellies. And we can pressure. We're going to pressure until we get our super. Okay, take out the Shelly. Nice. Okay, someone's spinning up a storm. Okay, I'm not so sure. I'm kind of nervous to get these power cubes. Okay, we got him though. Okay, that bull wanted us, guys. But we have four power cubes. We're doing good. Not sure if there's someone in here. Let's check. Nope. There's already six people. Get out of here, Bo. I'm not one to team if I don't have to. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're going to use our super. Slow him down a little bit. We went right back into the super and we took him out. We should have used that super. That was basically like a spam super. We should have used that super to heal ourselves. Okay, let's see. We got eight power cubes, guys. Spike is OP. I love this guy. Okay, let's see. I'm not sure if there's a bull, a bull up here. Where are these characters? Okay, we're making ourselves known in the middle. <laughs> not sure where they are. Let's make sure to have a full chamber of shots, just in case if a, like a bull or something comes on top of us. 
Okay, these are the three players in the map. They're taking him out. We're going straight on aggression. Let's go. Where you at, Bull? Or Bo? <laughs> Let's take him out with our super. We don't have to do anything. There we go, guys. First place. Someone easy first place. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Spike is so freaking dominant. If you happen to have him, push him up on every single game mode right now. Get your trophies up with your boy Spike. Here we go. Okay, you guys. So the number one worst brawler in the game is... Bo, you guys, and once again, this really, really pains me to say this just because I really, really love Bo. His mechanics are so incredibly awesome. He's such a unique brawler, and I tend to gravitate towards the unique brawlers in the game because they're incredibly fun to play. But the thing is about Bo, he's torn, right? He's incredibly, incredibly broken on certain maps when he has his star power, but if he doesn't have his star power, he's very underwhelming. His stats aren't all that incredibly good. I think we're in this small dilemma with Bo that I believe he needs a buff, but if you buff him and you have his star power, he's going to be incredibly broken on the maps that he's already really good on. But if you don't have his star power and he doesn't get this buff, his stats are very underwhelming. And since I'm trying to make this list a little bit more applicable to the beginner players in the game, I'm assuming you're not going to have his star power as soon as you unlock him. So once you unlock him out of your trophy road, he's going to be a tiny bit underwhelming amongst the other brawlers in the meta. So the game modes that Bo is going to be somewhat okay in that I'd recommend pushing him up on are game modes like Bounty, Gem Grab as the Gem Carrier, as well as Showdown. However, once again, the 3v3 game modes, Bounty and Gem Grab, you can supplement other brawlers that are going to be a little bit better than him in those game modes, which is why he's a little bit weaker in the meta. Okay, so the moment you've all been waiting for, the number one, the best brawler in the meta right now currently is a very easy pick. Leon. Leon is so, so broken right now. Even though he got a nerf in the last balance change, he's so incredibly dominant, which is why I feel like he's going to be losing his place as the number one best brawler very, very soon once he gets a little bit of a nerf in the next balance change. So I feel like Spike is probably a little bit more of a safer pick to be your number one, just because I feel like a broken brawler like Leon won't be holding his status as one of the best brawlers in the game for a very long time, just because he's going to be addressed very soon. So guys, let's hop into it on Cavern Churn. Here we go. The thing that I like to compare um, Leon uh, kind of like is like uh, Jesse in the last balance changes, right? Jesse was so incredibly overpowered because she had one broken mechanic, and that was her mortar. So once she was nerfed, once that mortar was nerfed, she was kind of thrown out of the top five. Um, so Leon, I feel like once he's addressed a little bit, he's not going to be so, so good. But his mechanics are, are top notch, and invisibility mechanic, no, no matter what you do to nerf it, I feel like it's going to be pretty dang good. And the damage that he does is absolutely insane. So we'll see how we can do. Okay, the Daryl can kill us pretty easily. Well, let's let's um, prioritize power cubes. Not so much as killing the other brawlers. Let's see. Top left. Anything? Like I said before, the corners are OP on this map. So let's see if we can't clean up here. One thing that I'm nervous about. I wish we had our super so we can get into the middle a little bit easier. Okay, we got Bull up here. Maybe we can pressure him. At least get some super against him. That'd be awesome. Okay, we're not going to let Bo or Bull come out. Unless he wants to take some damage. Okay. Look at that. We're ripping through him and he has four power cubes. I'm right at this point. I'm not necessarily trying to kill the Bull. I'm just trying to get my super. Leon is another one of those brothers who really relies on getting his super. I shouldn't say relies. It's just a very, very powerful asset once you do get it. Okay, we'll wait. We'll wait, we'll wait. But we're going to keep him. We we need him as super fodder. There we go. One more shot. One more shot. Okay, there's another bull coming in. There we go. We got it. Good deal. Okay, this bull is crunched. He's pinched. So we have to be careful to the bottom of us. Okay, that, okay let's super in there. This will be good. This will be good if we kill that. Let's go for the bow. Okay, good deal. All right, let's wait. I think the bull is still over here. Okay, the bow. We still have our super. We have increased movement speed. We're good. Ah, dang it, guys. <laughs> we were trying to scrap around that uh, the bow, but he was able to kind of pinpoint our location and not let us leave. But still, we did pretty dang good. What place did we take? Plus four, or plus two trophies rank four. Not too shabby. You guys will kind of get the picture if you eventually get Leon. He's pretty dang easy to get trophies in every single game mode. Um, we were in a desperate, kind of like a precarious situation with Leon there at the end, and we still kind of managed to gain some trophies. So guys, Leon, incredibly broken. 
Alrighty guys, so hopefully you found this list useful, and once again, I want to hammer home that it's super important to keep up the meta. If you're a beginner player, push up the brawlers that are super, super good in the meta so you can gain trophies a lot easier. And another thing that I want to stress here at the end of the video, me saying that the brawlers in the top five worst category are bad or anything like that is not the approach that I want to take. It's basically me saying that they're very, very map specific, and you have to be careful when you're pushing them up. Um, the game modes that they're good in are very, very few. Um, for example, Piper. She's super, super good on the game modes that she's good in, like Bounty, but that's the only game mode that I recommend pushing her up on. Alrighty guys, so once again, hopefully you all enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave it in the comments down below. Anything that you need help on in this game, I want to make sure for these next couple weeks to really help out the beginner players so that they have a spot in this game and they know what they're doing. So that'd be really, really awesome if you could do that. I would love to make a future video revolving around certain ideas that you guys give to me. So if you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like on it. Also consider hitting that subscribe button down below and becoming a part of the Ray fam. So guys, make sure to keep having fun with Brawl Stars. Take it easy. Peace out.